Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Just in case you're new here, my name is Keisha and I blog every day at kjaggers.com. The link is below. So I'm going to be making jelly in the coming days and I've got all these beautiful strawberries that we need to wash and this is certainly a tip that will come in handy with any berry and no matter how many strawberries you have, if it's just a container like from your grocery store or some you know gallon jugs like this the process is the same it couldn't be easier it makes your berries last a lot longer without mildewing and you know rotting because we don't want to waste our fruit so tomorrow I'm making jelly and tonight I'm cleaning the strawberries I thought I would share this tip with you guys and um, it's super easy so let's get going so I've sanitized my sink. I have a lot of strawberries. You could certainly use a bowl if you wish. I'm just using my kitchen sink that I've sanitized. I have about 20 cups of water in here, but if you're doing this like, or like strawberries from the grocery store, it's about um, five cups of water to a half a cup of vinegar. So you just add your cold water and your vinegar right in. Then start taking your berries and putting them down into the mixture. This is also going to stop fruit flies from getting all over them if they're out, you know, on the table. And I definitely want to wash them because I'm going to be making jellies for people and giving them away as gifts. So I definitely, you know, want to make sure everything's as clean as possible. And all you're going to do is get your berries in here and are in your water mixture and vinegar and let them sit for about two minutes, drain them, and they're done. You don't even have to rinse them. You will not taste the vinegar, I promise. I've been meaning to get this tip up for a while now. Um, and after we got all these strawberries, I thought, well, this is a great time to, to do it. So I'm going to keep adding berries and then let them sit here for two minutes, drain them, and we're done. So I got my first batch in the water and vinegar, and I've got my timer set. We don't have long, and I'm just rinsed out the same um, container, and um, they're going straight back in it because it has really good ventilation. Again, we're using these tomorrow, but this tip will make your berries last a really long time. I'm talking like a week to two weeks, um, and it's so much better because it's natural with the vinegar. You're getting off any germs or parasites, and it just preserves the berries. Blueberries, you can do this with. Um, you can you can do it with blackberries, but raspberries, I really don't recommend it. Um, I think raspberries, you just got to kind of like risk it and kind of maybe wipe them down with a damp paper towel, but you can't really do this with raspberries. But blueberries, this is another great option. Um to clean your fruit and they sell all those fruit cleaners in the grocery store you really don't need one of those you just need some vinegar and water there's batch number one and batch number two definitely feel around and if you have any little pieces that are like that just throw it away you, they're not going to you know come back to life because you put them in vinegar but sort through them make sure see like this one's cut open that one's gone. Just kind of sort through them and make sure all your berries are in good shape. You definitely don't want any that's rotting because that bacteria does spread to other berries and they all kind of rot a little bit faster. Um, once one gets it, it spreads fast. Two minutes and then we'll move these and do my last batch. Last batch in and we're done. So now that these are all washed, I am going to let them air dry right out here on the counter tonight. You could certainly put them in the refrigerator. They are ready to eat now. Um, you've removed all the bacteria, all the pesticides, any mold spores that, you know, can transfer berry to berry, which does happen quick. This tip will make your berries last days if not weeks longer so keep that in mind if you bring home some berries from the grocery store take five cups of water to a half a cup of just regular old white vinegar let them soak for about two to three minutes you don't even have to rinse them just drain them let them air dry and your berries will um, last a lot longer so i hope this tip has been helpful stay tuned for my upcoming video on homemade strawberry jelly Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.